Hi, welcome to Amazing Learning YouTube channel. We were uh, going through the HTML section in which we learned about few tags. In the previous two videos, I have already shared few of the fundamentals which you also needed uh, to uh, practice and then after you would able to uh, understand the rest of the uh, tags, right? So in the previous class, what we learned was we learned actually uh, certain tags like HTML tag, title tag, style tag and uh, a few more tags. So m after onwards, uh, today we are going to discuss about heading tags. What are the headings that we can use in HTML page and then after we have paragraph tag and then anchor tag. So here anchor tag is important. So firstly we are going to uh, print headings so now let's start so in this previous section whatever we discussed was this particular thing so i want to remove all those things right now so this style tag i want to remove because this is not needed now and uh, this link tag is also going to removed and section is title is now title should be changed for example we are going to new tags i'm going to write new tags title so in the body tag what i want to implement is heading tags so there are actually six headings in html h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 and h6 so one by one i am going to implement right now so firstly i want to run this particular pa page and you should see what is the output of this so this was the previous output and i want to refresh and this is the output right now this is heading and structure of html right so now i want to implement few more headings so this is h1 and now i want to copy paste sorry so this is h1 this is h2 h3 h4 h5 and finally h6 right similarly we have h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 and now h6 right so these are the few headings that you will see right now that what is the purpose of all these headings and then after we have a paragraph known as structure of html so i want to change this into this is paragraph paragraph here right so I want to save and then want to run this particular HTML file so you will find yes this is here and I want to refresh so now you can see the change this is heading this is heading so this was h1 heading h2 heading h3 h4 h5 and h6 h6 right so you can say that whenever these headings are needed you can use it but you must know this that the purpose of heading is what you know you have any content and you want to give heading to that content rather focusing on the size most of the people uh, think that uh, we should use heading here because the size of the heading is uh, font size of the heading is greater so this is wrong implementation right if you want to uh, increase the font size you should write the content in paragraph and then improve the size rather using the heading tag at a wrong place right so heading means the content heading means you have a content and you want to uh, give the heading to that content right so in the next thing which is paragraph so paragraph you are looking at so paragraph tag has the specific purpose for example you want to write down a paragraph and you will definitely uh, include this particular content into the p tag which is paragraph tag so uh, one thing you have to keep in mind is heading tag and 
paragraph tag always starts from the new line right for example i want to write a one more one more paragraph here one more paragraph so this is second paragraph right so now if i will run this particular so you will find that this is second paragraph and this is in new line rather than uh, rather than after the previous paragraph right so these are the few things that you have to keep in mind now we are moving to the important part of this video which is anchor tag right anchor tag is the most important so what does anchor tag mean anchor tag has a special purpose to redirect uh, to a particular page which is uh, uh, to whom the url is implemented uh, is url is uh, included inside of it for example you want to redirect from the page in which you are right now to another page then you would use anchor tag for example for example we want to redirect from our page which is this page to any other page like you want to uh, redirect to any website or any page which you have uh, made so you can use anchor tag so how this has been used anchor tag open anchor tag close and inside of it what you have to write is href href means the reference where you want to go so http double forward slash www dot what i want to write here is tutorials point dot com right so this is a website name so if you want to go to this particular website uh, from your page you should write here so here i want to write the text click here which would be displayed on the screen so once you will click on this particular text you would be redirected to this particular website right so now we should run this so here we are going to refresh and you will find a link click here so once we shall click here we would be redirected to a new page which is of tutorialspine.com right so you have to keep in mind that if you want to redirect from in the current page in which you are working right now to any other page then you should use anchor tag and by default you will find an underline under this particular text right and this is of green color and when you will click on it then it would be of red color so this is active state and when do we, uh, when you will uh, hold on this this would be of red and when you will uh, lose the click means yes before clicking this would be green and uh, this would be blue color when you will click on it this would be of uh, red color and when you will uh, when this link has been used then it would be of purple color right so these are the states of the anchor tag later on we shall uh, dive into it dive into the uh, purpose of this particular anchor tag means more deeply but for now you have to keep in mind that anchor tag has the only purpose which is of redirecting from current page to another page so hope that uh, you understand the concept that i want to uh, that i want to make you sure so few tags that we have impl implemented right now are uh, heading tags h1 h2 h3 and uh, up to h6 uh, and then after paragraph tag and now we have implemented anchor tag so make sure that your your link should be accurate if your link is not accurate then you would not be redirected right for example i am missing this particular character and then save and then uh, again want to run right so i have refreshed this and want to click here click here click here this would not be uh, this would not redirect me right this would redirect to a page uh, which will show me this particular error that this site cannot be reached why because this doesn't exist so your url must be uh, correct right 
So this was the purpose of our today's lecture. Hope you learned a lot and uh, definitely in the uh, in the coming videos you will also learn more advanced concepts. So if you are thinking that this is fruitful for you, you should subscribe this channel, like this video and share with other people who have maybe definitely they would have also need of such type of uh, practical implementations. So thank you. Thanks for watching.